here we go welcome back so it's time for another installment of what's in my drawer um i've been going through piece by piece going through my collection um people seem to be interested so thanks for being interested um if you ever have any suggestions or questions or anything like that please ask let me know down there i really appreciate Appreciate it. Sorry for the sniffles. I'm getting over a cold. So today we're going to go through foundations and my setting powders. I combined the two because I really didn't have a lot of either. So hopefully this will actually be a shorter video. Anything shorter than that lippy video. I'll make sure to stick it um, up there because that's like an hour long. But we did go through all my lipsticks. So Let's just go through what I got. Let's do foundations first. So the really true foundation, and it's so dusty, I have not used it in forever. Um, this is the only true foundation that I own. This is the Naked Skin Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup. I got the shade 1.0, but I think it's too light for me. I need a different shade of this, especially since now I'm... I'm getting it. I'm I'm getting the whole makeup thing. I'm getting my skin tone and skin type and I'm just getting through it. So this one is way too light for me. I thought it was my color, but it's like super yellow. Um I think I'm like a th I think I'm a 2.5 or 3.0, whichever one is the neutrally neutral undertone one. But I like this foundation. I like the consistency of it. I like how it goes on. I like how it covers. It's a really good nice foundation next this I tried again and I still don't like it this is the Garnier skin active BB cream all the rest of these are oh no I have another foundation in there but um most of them are BB or CC creams I tried this because it's supposed to be good for oily or combination skin I think it looks like crap I think that it breaks up, especially my oiliest parts are right here. My chin is a little bit because I just got off of work, but um, as you can tell, um, my oily spots are here. This is where my breakouts are. This is where my oiliest spots are. And it breaks up right there. I never had a foundation do that. Usually I'm just like, okay, but I also don't wear my foundations a lot like I will probably take this all off when I'm done filming my next video um which will be the 1000 giveaway video but this looks like crap I hate it I try I hated it when I first tried it I tried it again with a different um method to put it on and I still hate it hate it I'm not a fan at all I don't I don't like it I don't like it so, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Because it's almost full. It seems like a waste to throw it away. I don't know. Maybe my mom or somebody can use it. Um, here is... I got this in a kit. This is the Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation from Tarte. In the shade Light Sand. I think this is a smidgen too yellow for me. Like, it just... It's just yellowy. So it's a good foundation, but it's just a little bit too yellow, but it has, this, is, I bought it before the skin match, you know, like I just, but it came in a kit. So it's a good foundation. I really like it. It's a little more full coverage than I care to put on, but it's a good foundation and I'll keep it. You never know, like in the summertime or for two weeks and before the spring, you know, I might be the palest I've ever been and it might work. Um, the last two are my favorites. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay BB Tinted Moisturizer in the color Light Medium. I think it's a pretty good match for me, as you can see, like, I have used this. I actually need another one, but they don't... The last two times I went to Ulta, they didn't have the light medium in the store. So I need to actually like get it either online or maybe I'll one day I'll 
catch it when it's there, the two tubes they have or whatever. I really do enjoy this. I think it sets well for oily skin. I think that it just, it looks beautiful through the day. I never have any issues other than when I'm working, especially when I have like three classes in a row um, and I'm a dance teacher. If you're new, hello. Um, it makes my skin itch just a smidgen, not any irritation. I never get any more red or bumps or rash, or, but it just is like, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just like, oh man, my skin itches. It just, it doesn't feel right. And it's only after I get sweaty. So yeah, but it's a good fun. That was super glary. So yeah, I like it. I'm going to repurchase it. Here's what I have on today. And I never thought I was going to like it because every sample that I got was in medium. And medium is, is, was too yellow for me and a little bit too dark. But I got two little samples in light and it's beautiful. It's beautiful on. I think it might be, it is geared towards older women, you know, probably 30 and up. But I really... It doesn't settle in any of the, the lines here. It makes this one. I have my normal facial expression is like this. <laughs> I don't mean to, but I have one wrinkle here and then I have like my forehead wrinkles are starting. But um, it really does just kind of, I think it looks really nice aside from my red cheeks because I just got off from work and it is it got warm this afternoon in my house. So anyway, I did buy, I just bought a full size of this, but I think I've gotten three uses out of this and I probably have most of a fourth use out of this little teeny tiny one, just four milliliters. So yeah, maybe a milliliter or try. So then this will be good for 12 because this is 12 milliliters. And then I bought a big one. So I really do like these. Oh, and if I didn't say, it's the It Your Skin But Better CC Plus Cream. And I really do like those. Wore it today. Oh, and I used this. They recommend you use their brush. And I got a little mini one that came with like a sample. It's dirty, sorry. But, um, and I really liked it more than using my fingers because that's how I used to put it on. But they, I got this little freebie brush with a sample kit. But then I bought this brush. Look how dirty it is from this morning. I bought this brush. And this is from Real Techniques All Over Brush. And it is beautiful with this with this CC cream. It went on. I did the dots. Dot, 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 dot. And just used this. And it went on perfect. No streaks. No gloves. It was gorgeous. This is $20 and I am in love with these two things right now. So yeah, that's all the foundations and CC creams I have. I don't have a ton. The ones that I do have, they last forever. I have had, oh, where did I put it? Oh, right in front of me. I have had this one for months. For months and months and months and look, I still have some left and I use this most every day I just started using this one I have used this every single day for at least six months and I still have some left so I don't use a ton I just need to even it out I'm not gonna cake makeup on my face and go to work anyway now to setting powders, and I don't have a lot of those either. This is the Derma Blend Professional Loose Setting Powder. We got this in a boxy charm, I think, not too long ago. It's okay. I have to be careful with these fine, fine, fine mill powders. Oh, come on, show it. There you go. Um, they kick up and they get in my eyes. I don't know how people put this powder right here. It burns like crazy. I don't know how people do it. It's insane. Then I just got this one and I haven't had a chance to um, try it out. This is the Tarte Smooth Operator 
Amazonian clay finishing powder. And it seems like it's, I don't even have it. I don't even have it opened yet. Yeah, it feels like um, that same silky smooth. So I'm gonna try it, but man, when I get it near my eyes, it, oh, it stings so bad. And then these are the two that I use on a daily basis. I mean, not daily. If I use a setting powder, I do. I'm terrible with actually remembering to set my face. So this, if I do an under eye concealer, I got powder going everywhere. If I do an under eye concealer and I actually remember to set it, I use this. This is the Laura Mercier, what is the actual, translucent, translucent, loose setting powder. And I have never had an issue with it. It's not as silky smooth, but man, it sets it under eye concealer. Especially if you want to bake with it, I have it everywhere. And I'm wearing black, so it's awesome. Um, there's a reason that people love this powder. It's a great, great powder. Um, I have not bought a full size. I've gotten a lot of sample -y things or, you know, in kits and stuff like that. Because I'm a... How much setting powder do you go through? I mean, really. And then this is what I've been using to set my face. This is the Urban Decay D Slick Mattifying Powder. Sometimes the CC cream, the It Cosmetic CC cream, it takes a while to dry, dry down. It does, but sometimes it takes a while. And if I'm going, I will brush this all over and then go in with my beauty blender or my um my beauty sponge, and then kind of press it in so it doesn't look so cakey that is it y'all that is it for foundation and setting powders I've been lucky I've been able to find stuff that works but also there's no need to have unless you are a collector of makeup or bottles or containers or packaging you don't need a million different foundations and stuff it really is if I find stuff that works and that's what I use and that is just me but if you want to have a million, have a million. Just make sure, you know, you use it so you're just not being wasteful. Especially since this stuff isn't, it's not cheap at all. So, thank you guys so much for watching. really appreciate it. I'm going to film the 1,000 subscriber giveaway right after this one. So, they probably will go right up, back to back. And, yeah. So, check that out. I will see you guys next time.